following breaking news this morning, this stretch of Tacoma Avenue South is closed after a hit and run crash sent one woman to the hospital and she's now fighting for her life. Fox 13's Dan Griffin just got to that scene and Dan police still looking for the driver responsible. Absolutely, and good morning to you both. Yes, yeah, so police telling us at this point that the driver of that U-Haul truck still on the loose left the truck behind the U-Haul truck that we're talking about, a Chevy Silverado-style truck. But you can see a crash scene here, pretty serious. It's got called in about 5.50 this morning. This is Tacoma Avenue South between 13th and 15th here. We're told two cars involved, one of them that U-Haul rental truck. Apparently, from what we understand in talking with police here, that U-Haul rental truck was speeding southbound on Tacoma Avenue South and ran the light at South 13th, hitting the other car. Then apparently the driver of that truck took off running, leaving the truck behind. The woman driving the car hit a building because of the impact of the crash and had to be cut out of the car by firefighters. We're told that that woman was taken to a hospital with life-threatening injuries, and then a canine was brought in to do some kind of a search. No word yet on if that search yielded any kind of results here, but we're told that the road will likely be shut down on Tacoma Avenue South for at least four more hours. It's between 13th and 15th here. And right now, no description of a suspect either. We've been trying to figure out if they have any information on a suspect. Right now, no description. So we're told that they do have now probable cause against the driver of that U-Haul truck for hit and run and vehicular assault. But again, this is a very active scene. They've even got a drone up in the air right now, kind of scanning the area as they piece this all together on the ground and in the sky. So we're going to be here through the morning working to get more information about this. We'll bring you updates as soon as we get them. But for now, we're live in Tacoma. Dan Griffin, Fox 13 News.